Welcome back to Lumios Tower, we're aiming to be the very best like no one ever was, and today we're taking on yet another opponent, but first, we're going to show off the team. We're going for a very aggressive strategy today, we're tr really trying to get back on course with a win, uh, so we've got Flamigo with U-Turn, Brave Bird, Liquidation, Close Combat, Golden Go with Nasty Plot, Recover, uh, Make It Rain, and Shadow Ball, Garchomp with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, and Iron Head, Wo Qian trying something a little different here, uh, underrated Ruinous Quartet here and going with some uh, weird strategies on it with Giga Drain, Ruination, Foul Play, and Leaf Storm, and Gengar with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, and Psychic, and last but not least, Lycanroc, Rock and Accelerock, Rock Slide, Crunch, and Close Combat. Really excited for today's battle, I'm about to tell you about our opponent, let's go ahead and get in. Okay, so today my opponent is Ryan Casares on uh, Twitter. I hope I pronounced your last name right there, Ryan. Either way, he's going to be linked in the description below his Twitter account, so be sure to check him out. Show him some love. Uh, looking forward to a really awesome battle, Ryan. Good luck. Have fun. All right, let's see what Ryan's bringing. Ryan is bringing the Powdan starters. Okay, we've got Skeleters, Meowskarada, Quackwaval. We have Tinkaton, Kilowattrel, and Baxcalibur. Very, very interesting. So we're going to lead with Flamingo. Um, it's just an easy lead. We can pivot with U-Turn. You know, no need to like worry about us getting trapped in there. There's nothing on his team that can trap us with Shadow Tag or anything like that. Arena Trap, any kind of thing like that. And Arena Trap, we wouldn't have to worry about. But, you know, we we don't have to worry. We just leave Flamingo. We don't like the situation we're in. We U-Turn out. The, I guess, worst case scenario, we go up against Baxcalibur. And in that scenario, we, uh, that could be, oh, and Kilowattro. Kilowattro, that's not great either, because I was going to say, with Vax Caliber, we could tear a water. But, yeah, no, this isn't great. All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, pretty, so Air Slash or Thunderbolt's going to be super effective against us. So, we need to weigh what will not only take Air, or Thunderbolt the best, but also Air Slash. So, Garchomp is immune to the Thunderbolt, so 50% chance we don't take any damage if we switch into Garchomp. So I think that's what we're going to do. In fact, I know that's what we're going to do because I just clicked it. Uh, let's see if we called right. Again, he has Air Slash, you know, then, then he's going to trip us up a bit here. Um, it shouldn't do too, too much. Okay, he's going to leave with Tailwind. Okay. Oh, I wonder if he's got uh, Wind Power, I think it is, that Kilowatt Rides. I always get it and Wind Rider mixed up, but I believe Kilowatt Rides Wind Power... Uh, Bramble Gas is Wind Rider. So we're just going to go for a nice and easy uh, Rock Slide here. He may switch. Okay, he is switching. So let's see what he's going to go out to. Probably the Bax Caliber. Okay, well, that's fine because, like I said, we, we Rock Slided here. And it missed. Fantastic. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay, so we're we're gonna be hit by an ice move here. So who do we want to take an ice move? And I'd say we want Golden Go to take an ice move because he actually he he doesn't even oh no. Okay, okay, that's good. Alright, that was that was a little scary. I didn't know what was happening there. <clears throat> Golden Go, he likes ice moves. He eats them. So, you know, he's fine with that. Oh, he's dragon dancing. Oh man. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go for a make it rain. Nice and simple. Nothing on his team really wants to take a make it rain except for that. Quackwaval won't mind it too, too much. Uh, and the Skeleters won't mind it too much. So I almost wonder if we... He's Dragon Danced. So I'm tempted to call it and go for Shadow Ball because if he goes into Skeleters... But no, we're going to play it safe, and we're going to go for a make it rain. Okay, he is switching. So the Shadow Ball would have been a good play there. Meowskarada, though. So make it so Shadow Ball would not have been a good play, and make it rain is going to do pretty nicely here. He's sacking off the Meowskarada because he does not need it for our team, I guess. Now we are minus special attack. The Tailwind's petered out. So what I'm hoping is he'll go into Kilowattro to set up that Tailwind again. He is going into Kill Watcher, and what this will do is give us a chance to go for a nasty plot here. Yep. Alright, so we can nasty plot. This will allow us to not only get that special attack we just lost back, but also gain another special attack because it'll raise us sharply. Now, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball. Nothing on his team wants to take a Shadow Ball. 
He's going for discharge. Okay. Shadow Ball. Focus Ash. Okay. We're going to go for another Shadow Ball. He's going for another Discharge. I got the Para. A crit. That mattered. It didn't matter. It did not matter. Just, just so we're clear, it did not matter. Because <clears throat> that's when we get crits here over at Lumios Tower is when they don't matter. Tinka time. All right, we're gonna go for another make it rain. Uh, he's gonna outspeed because Tailwind and Paralysis, but okay, we lived on two. So Tinka time's not gonna like this. <clears throat> it won't kill, but it ain't gonna tickle. Oh, it will kill. Okay, that's even better. At this point, Golden goes so low on health, we're just going to let him kind of peter himself out here. Uh, and yes, that was a pun because of what just happened with the Tailwind. Yeah, this is great for my opponent because he can get up a Moxie boost right now. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to click Shadow Ball just in case something happens. You never know. You know, you don't want to be that guy who goes and clicks like... Nasty plot or something and their attack misses and then they get you the next turn now go for what'll do best And there's the moxie so we're at plus one plus one with Quackwaval so we're gonna go out into flamigo to counter this Quackwaval um, And we're just gonna go with brave bird ice spinner Ooh. Oh, and it's a crit. I actually think that did matter. I don't know for sure. No, with the plus one attack, that didn't matter. Okay, so now we're at plus two Moxie. This is where we can start getting scared, except we don't have to because we have Gengar. And what Gengar will allow us to do is he will allow us to live any hit this guy throws at us because he's got a Focus Ash. And then we're just going to Psychic and bop him out. Actually, which is stronger? Psychic or... um? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. I always forget how to... Okay, it's Y. I'm used to it being R. We're going to go for Psychic. Uh, energy Ball, we're not going for in case he goes into Skeletors. Okay. Wave Crash, that's going to take him out. It's going to hurt us, but it's going to take him out too. I mean, that doesn't really matter, Gengar, but thanks. All right, now I imagine he could go... Uh, the play here I would make if I were him is, yeah, Bexcalibur, Ice Shard. Um, and, yeah, there's there's not much we can do about a Bexcalibur, Ice Shard. Uh, what we're going to do from there is we're probably going to... We're going to let Gengar die. But I think we're going to go into Garchomp. And we're going to tear into a Steel-type. Oh, he didn't go for... Ice Shard. He must not have Ice Shard on his back Excalibur. Well then, we're going to change our approach here. And we're going to go Lycanroc because, you know, never Terra unless you have to Terra, right? So we're going to go into Lycanroc and we're going to Acceleroc. Because that should take it out from this range. Okay, he's withdrawing. So into Skeletors. That's fine. We'll two-shot the Skeletors with Accelerock. If he has leftovers, that's going to be a little... Ah, oh, he does have leftovers. Oh, no. That's not leftovers. That's weakness policy. That's so much worse than leftovers. But that's okay. A second Accelerock should kill. Oh, it doesn't. Ooh.
Okay. So. We're gonna go Garchomp, because he's gonna outspeed. And we're gonna get him with a Dragon Claw, because in case he switches into Baxcalibur. Okay. We've got it from here, because now what we do is Baxcalibur, we are going to Terra into a Steel-type, and we're going to hit it with an Iron Head. And this, this should kill. Unless, this is cool, the Battle of the Pseudos. Both Terra, okay, Ice, so he's, he's boosting his Ice powers. That's smart, you know, play it safe, because you know the two things I have in the back are weak to Ice. That's really smart. But we're going to go first, and we're going to hit him with that Terra Steel Iron Head. And that'll be game. Nice. So we are back on track with our first win in a while. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you so much, Ryan, for accepting the challenge. Uh, we'll definitely have to play again. I loved seeing the Bax Caliber and loved that our final match got to be a pseudo versus pseudo absolutely love that guys again be sure to show some love to ryan in the comments below his twitter is linked in the description below as well so check him out there be sure to answer the question of the day which will be in the comments it's going to be what's your favorite pseudo but it's in the comments too i'll have it like there and pinned because i forgot to say at the beginning of the episode because i'm bad at this but yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the rest of our journey to be the very best like no one ever was. And until next time, keep on climbing to the top.